Hello, this is Dom Vern of Latin Chronicles, and right now I am here with Mr. Will Nieves of Nieves Latin Dance Studio. Thank you so much for coming today. Cool. Sounds good. I'm yeah. here. <laughs> yes. So recently, we just saw you at Robert and Isabel's one-year anniversary at Las Chicas Locas, and you guys did an awesome job. Cool. Thank you. Yes. Um, I wanted to know, from you actually own a studio in Williamsburg, Brooklyn, yeah, mm -hmm. and also in the South Bronx. Yes, we have two schools right now, one in Williamsburg and one in South Bronx. Yeah. And the style of salsa you do is on two, correct? Yeah, we teach uh, basically on two, and um, I try and focus on more kind of mambo styling. I mean, that's more my flavor of what I just enjoy. So yeah, that is awesome. So I wanted to ask, uh, Mr. Nieves, where did the journey of salsa and mambo start? Um, for me, I, I jumped into a school in Queens. I was there for about a year and a half. Um, and after that, I just really enjoyed it. I loved it. It's, it's part of my culture because I, I have a Puerto Rican background. Um, and after that, I just I tried to take it to another level. I, I, I left the school and I went to a school in Manhattan uh, with Bala Society for a little bit. Then I was with uh, Nelson Flores for about two years. And after that, I just decided to open up my own school and just try it out, see how things would go. And it's awesome. I think you went from the Williamsburg location to now a new location in the South Bronx. And honestly, nowadays in the salsa scene, it's very hard to market yourself with so many companies. And right. for me, I've seen your company grow in a matter of just a few years. Yeah. And I already see the future for it. Right. Um, your performances are amazing. The creativity Thank is you. endless. Um, I would like to know at least... What is what do you see in the future of Nieves Latin Dance Studio? Um, I see us just creating uh, a bigger culture and awareness of, of the salsa scene in the community. Um, I really want to focus on just having better shows out there and really building a lot of my students up uh, to be better performers and just really just educating the world and you know, a lot of people in New York City about the about salsa and what it's about and how it's fun and it's a community and, and it's just all about having a good time. And also in your studios in Williamsburg in the South Bronx. Uh, is it only salsa that is offered, or are there any other styles of dance that you also um, We do salsa, and we just started doing bachata, because it's, 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 it's a really big crave right now. A lot of my students were asking for it, so I decided to uh, also open up bachata classes as well uh, and try it out. And we're actually doing really well. A lot of people are, are really looking forward to the classes, and they just enjoy it. Yes, and actually, too, I've seen uh, some most recent videos of yourself in your bachata classes, and what I love is the pure, genuine essence that you bring in your classes. Because cool. don't get me wrong, in New York, we have so many bachata classes, but sometimes they get a little bit watered down. But I see through yours, you genuinely just have a, a natural feeling for it. Cool. And one thing I can say is watching your company over the years, the biggest difference is maturity. The one thing I can see is that through your dancers, they have discipline, they have technique, right. and they have body movement. Right. Those are three things that are pure to what we have in the salsa scene. Yeah. And one and one thing I can say is that from watching you, Mr. Nieves, you're actually, believe it or not, I believe it, inspiration in this scene because besides your business sense, the business savvy that you have, your presence on stage is captivating. All right, cool. Thank you. I mean, I, I'm still, I, I consider myself more of a social dancer. Uh, so the performing for me is like a newer thing that I'm still learning and, I, and I'm humble about. But I'm trying to, you know, just kick, kick, kick up a notch and just try and do more natural movements and, and just try and present it more on stage, which is my, my, one of my more future goals, performing more and just trying to do more of that. That is awesome. So yeah. what can we actually see in the future for Nieves Latin Dance Studio? Um, hopefully better, uh, much better shows and uh, through my students and my, and my company. Um, you know, just, just trying to create a, a, a bigger culture and, and, and the right way that I think that, um, that that's also maybe missing in the scene a little bit. Um, and just educating them on, on culture, on art. Um, I've also been a musician for a while too, so I understand music. Um, and with my background too, just understanding the, the cultural aspect of it as well, not just teaching uh, classes. And that's one thing, one word I can definitely say is well-rounded, if you can jog that into one word. Right. Because that's sometimes what's missing is that certain people, they choose to focus on one specific subject, but yeah. I can see is that we have the business, you have right. the dance, and you have the mindset. And that's hard. Because some people are good dancers, some people are good teachers, um, some people are good business people, but it's really it's really hard to have all of them. Um, I try and do the best I can and make everything like really important. And I think maybe some people kind of miss that. Maybe they're good teachers, but not good performers, or vice versa, or, you know, it's hard to open up a business. So I, I give a lot of credit to people that run their own schools, but 
um, it's definitely it's definitely a big challenge that I think people need to like understand. Yes, and what would you say for the person novice in the salsa scene who's looking to take a class? What could they expect when they come to the other side and dance? I think a family. Um, we're just having fun. Um, a lot of people are scared to take their first class, so it's about just having a good time. And then after you get comfortable, then then the mind open ups, uh, opens up a little bit more to being educated on culture, on art. Um, I think you can't push that on certain people that don't understand it first and are not comfortable because um, a lot of people feel like they can't really dance salsa or learn salsa because they don't have like that cultural background. So it's really just gaining that comfortability first and then educating them on all the, the bigger and better things um, and then trying to build it that way. I think that, that's really important. That is excellent. Yeah. And at least before we go, is this something you would like to leave us with? Um, you know, just Nieves Land Dance Studio is trying to definitely um, be a really big uh, uh, school in the scene. Um, I'm really happy about all the students that I've, I've, I've grown and, and matured. And just look, look for more, just better quality students that come out of our school. And hopefully better quality performances in the near future. That's, that's really what I, I hopefully expect and I look forward to through my students. Yes, and Mr. Nieves, I want to thank you so much for speaking with me and uh, the rest of the audience. So. On behalf of Latin Chronicles, we are honored to have you, Ms. Nieves. Oh, thank you for having me. It was, it was fun. <laughs> <laughs> and definitely, audience, stay tuned. Peace.